Is this happening to you when trying to play back footage on your machine? With cameras these days recording increasingly higher quality footage, our machines can start having increasing trouble playing them back at normal speeds. While this doesn't present a problem in grading where you're working on a single frame at a time, editing can become a nightmare when trying to play back clips, let alone the whole timeline. That's when using a proxy workflow can save you frustration and create a decent editing experience on less powerful machines or when collaborating on a project with other editors or colorists. Today we'll take a closer look at Blackmagic's proxy generator that ships with both Resolve 18 Studio and the free version. What is a proxy? The word has its root in the Old English procuracy, referring to a person who is legally commissioned to act on behalf of another person, much like a stand-in. Likewise, a proxy in a video post-production environment is a placeholder that represents the original footage source but at a significantly lower size and quality, making it easier to edit because it requires less processing power for playback. Additionally, this can make collaboration an attractive choice when working with the remote editor because of the lightweight proxy sizes that don't eat up your internet bandwidth when transferring to or from a sync folder. Once your project is done and the timeline is set, you can instantly link back to the original source files for color grading, VFX, or exporting at the original quality. Blackmagic's Proxy Generator App the proxy workflow is not a new concept in Resolve, but what changed is the way this is handled. With version 18, Blackmagic includes a standalone lightweight app for proxy generation available with the studio and free version. The app monitors the source for those you want to be watched and transcodes lower quality proxy files on the fly in the background while you're working on a project within Resolve. This is great because you don't need to stop working and wait for the proxy generation to complete as in previous versions. Watch folders. When you first launch the Blackmagic Proxy Generator app from the Applications folder or Finder search on a Mac or from the Start menu on a PC, you'll be prompted to add a watch folder. This is nothing else but the location of a folder containing the original source files of a project you're currently working with for which the app will generate proxies. The app will work with all popular video formats. You can opt out for now and add these locations later, or you can add as many watch folder locations as you need by dragging and dropping the folders in the watch folder list. This is just telling the proxy generator app to monitor those folders for any additional source footage we might add or remove. After you add a new folder containing the source media files, hit start and the app will start transcoding you will see a completed status when the files are transcoded. Once the app starts processing, it will automatically create a subfolder named proxy within the same location level containing all the transcoded files. The app checks the watch folders every five minutes, so you might notice a short wait before the app starts transcoding newly added source files. You can manually start a scan of the watch folders by clicking stop, then start again. Once you wrapped up a project, you can remove a watch folder from the list with the remove button to stop monitoring. When removing a watch folder, both your original files and the generated proxies remain on your disk. The watch folder list displays the location volume, folder name, and current status of waiting, processing, or completed. Proxy formats. The heart of the proxy generator is the option of selecting a codec from the list starting with the lowest to the highest quality depending on the compression rate. This list differs if you're on a Mac where you'll have the additional ProRes 422 proxy option. Next, choose a codec from the list and click Start. The proxy format options have similar data rates and will produce similar proxy file sizes. The difference is in the image quality and processing power required to work with them, with H.264 8-bit half-resolution 1080p being the least taxing on your system at the cost of lowering the resolution to 540p. The generator will transcode the camera original files found in the watch folders using the same file names and will display the completed status when done. Notice the big difference in the transcoded file sizes compared to the original source. The delete and extract proxies button become available only when clicking stop. You can delete the proxies from a selected watch folder in the list in case you want to free up space after a project is completed. 
Use the extract proxies function to make a copy of the proxies from the selected watch folders to a portable drive to hand over to an editor or to a sync folder location. Working with proxies in Resolve. The great thing about working with this new proxy generator app is that Resolve 18 will automatically link the original sources to their respective proxy files. Select Prefer Proxies from the proxy handling in the playback menu and you will notice the proxy icon that appears on the thumbnails confirming that the proxies are linked. In the same manner, you can check the status and proxy media location of each source file in the list view on the media page. To reveal those columns, right-click on the column headings and select Proxy and Proxy Media Path. In case your original source isn't linked to your proxies because perhaps you moved them to a different location, you can manually link by right-clicking on the selected clips and choosing Link Proxy Media from the contextual menu. You can switch between the proxy and original media in the cut page from the proxy handling icon on the top of the viewer or from the proxy handling in the playback menu while on the edit page. For instance, you can use prefer proxies for a smooth editing experience and collaboration work. Then, once editing is done, you can switch disable our proxies and do your color grading or VFX work on the full quality source media. By default, when exporting, the Use Proxy Media checkbox is disabled, so you can have the original sources linked for maximum quality. You can also choose to use the proxy media in your export if you need lower quality reference outputs for reviews only. But just think how useful proxies can be for a workflow. You can, for instance, load the proxies on your laptop while traveling and edit in transit without the need to load the source files that will slow down your machine. Or you can send the proxy files to your remote editor via the cloud without needing to ship entire hard drives with the source media files. But best of all, you'll be able to have a smoother editing process on your current system even if it would normally struggle with the processor-intensive, high-quality files. Are you curious to learn more about the video production workflow in Resolve? Why don't you check out some of the previous videos we released on this topic? I'm absolutely sure you will discover something new to learn. And hey, while you're at it, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you know when we are posting new content. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Gabi Bukataru for Sox United. Please like this video if you found it useful and I'll see you in the next one.